Right, good afternoon everyone, or good morning, or good evening, wherever you are. Um, we've got a lot going on today, and that's not just uh, Ollie and I ranting and raving and talking away on, on, on the Unplugged Health series, but uh, we're, we're live on Facebook, we're recording, this is going on to our uh, podcast, and the audio will go on to our podcast links on, on iTunes and Podbeam and all sorts, so so I, I feel that we're we're quite up and up and, and with it with the technology, but I, unfortunately I can't take uh, I can't take the claim to fame. I think it's all over to you, Ollie. How are you doing, mate? Well, this is five time lucky as well, so I, I think <laughs> I'm a bit behind on technology. I'm doing good though. I'm doing good, as we see, like miles away. We're about five miles away, but still, it feels a bit further. Well, we said when we were going to hook up and do the uh, podcast that. The key was it was always coming out from us, chatting away um, and and going on tangents and talking about everything and nothing. And uh, true to form, um, we're still true to the unplug, unplugged aspect of our of our podcast. We were discussing earlier um, about starting off really with the concept of <clears throat> keeping it relevant to now, where most people are kind of have this concept of coming out of lockdown and. Um, and, and kind of trying to find a routine. I think most people have known to try and keep a routine during lockdown. But my observation is, uh, is that we're trying to find routine in an ever-changing environment because as we come out of lockdown, um, I know you're frustrated that we can go and uh, soon can go to the cinema, we can go to the pub, we can go wherever, but we can't go to the gym. Um, but every three or four weeks, we seem to be changing and having to adapt and so that routine is actually a lot harder in concept than than ever before oh yeah definitely and, and i think what we've seen regardless of looking at different numbers and things like that whether it's actually something which has been needed or not we've now seen the government lock down leicester again so is it even something that people could potentially say should we even plan far ahead should we stay to plan for today and then worry about tomorrow when tomorrow comes all these different things but I think there should be some form of planning, especially when it comes to our health. Because I don't know about you, but with me, and as we said about the gyms being closed, I've done some home workouts, but the thing that I know about, that I've loved more than ever like over the last few years, is going to the gym. And the home workouts don't cut it for me with that. But then if I then start planning to get going to the gym, like with my hangovers, like once I can finally actually get to the gym, then what happens if that then gets pushed back again? I think it's good to have this theory of that anything can actually change right now. Anything. So do you think we shouldn't be so specific? Of I've got a feeling that most people are kind of almost, on one hand, identify that they <clears throat> they can't go back to normal, but they're kind of almost waiting to go back to as close to as normal as possible. But do you think we should be then kind of just having a, a broad concept of... Um, a broad concept of of a routine, but that routine is always you know changing. So, you know, you might one day get your cardio or go on the cycle. Another way it might be walking. It might you just adapt to what's the op the opportunity presents um, versus having a you know a really in the past we could have a strict plan. You could write down you know this day I do this, this day I, I, it just seems to be a lot more variable now. I think definitely when when we look at how I've been massively productive in the past is having my structure. Get up, do my meditation, do my journaling, go for a dog walk, do my cardio, go to the gym, then I start work. And that's had to change recently. But I've noticed that I've had to adapt to different things with meal timing and sleep timing, technology timing, all these different things in order to get this new routine. However, I've got to also be adaptable because then there's the going out for appointments, going out for haircuts, restaurants, all these different things which come into it. I think there's, there's some form where some people might be so worried about it that they don't actually go out again, not like the rest of their lives, but for a while where they're into this new routine. And especially if you're an introvert like me, we like routine and breaking that routine again is like, oh, I've got to fit this thing into the day. I don't know how but I, I have this structure of my day in my head and it's in blocks. It's just trying to like just 
put my, my mind out on there on, on, on paper and how it actually is written down. It's in blocks. There's this block here in the morning, which is my time for exercise and everything like that. Then the do list, and I'm, I'm quite happy with the, the idea that one day we all take a last breath and, and there's things out still on the to-do list. So I start the day with thinking, well, these are the things I'd like to do. And I get to the end of the day and go, well, I'm, I'm quite chuffed. I'm, I'm never too critical, but I've achieved some of them, but there's still quite a few that are just, just other stuff comes up during the day. So my routine is, is away from work is, is fairly loose. I have some things I want to do in that day, but I'm not too fussed if I don't make it because at work, because we run with my appointment book and it's very time, 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 I kind of step away from that a bit. Um, and then, uh, so I'd be useless of working from home because I'd be sitting here doing work and I'd walk through and go, oh, there's last night's football or there's cricket on TV or something. And then I'd sit there and I'd, I think an hour later I'd walk and I must get back to that to work. So, so it's quite interesting of how we all different and how we can we can write down a plan, but I think we've also got to identify of how we as individuals work within a routine. You know, some people like that tick box element, and other people like a um, you know a, a framework of of how they then adapt and and work through. And it 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 gets done in time, but we but it's it's very important to find out how you as an individual tick to make that work for you. Otherwise it can be, become very stressful thinking. So for me, if it was like, here's 10 things and I have to get them all done today, I find that very stressful. So I will prioritize and some things will drift. I mean, I, I found a to-do list when we moved house was 2014 and there's still some stuff there from the, around the house because they just always get put down to the bottom. There's, there's a couple of things about that. I have a to-do list and it would be like five things and the top three things are the things that I have to get done. Anything else, like it can be just pushed back, and but uh, the world's not going to end if I don't do it. And those, those top three things, and two of those, like might be one of those would be directly linked with business, but two of those will be linked with me actually getting into the flow and getting into the motion of being able to relax and chill out. Like my to do this today is my client calls and or, or business calls, so that includes the podcast, making some music, and watching Man United play later. Uh, and that sounds like a crazy to-do list. And um, there's other things which could be like calling a couple of people with regards to businesses, with changing payments and things like that. But they can wait if they don't get done. And then there's things that ordering something like a supplement or something like that. These these little things which they can still get pushed to the next day. And I know that I have to ground myself. This is like the things that go without fail. The getting up. So I've started doing my Rubik's Cube every morning as well. So getting up, doing my meditation, doing my journaling, breathing exercises, take the dog for a walk, come back, Rubik's Cube, and then I do my cycle. And it, that wasn't like that before lockdown. I struggled to, I used to struggle to do that and then get to the gym and everything. It would take up so much more time. And I think when we look at to-do lists, what's going to happen if you don't get those lists done? And, and adding on to that is that, that I'm, I'm living on my own, so everything is in my control. But I've also shared lockdown, and when someone's not used to working at home and they come to work at home, especially when they're working at home with someone that already is used to it, it's hard work, massively hard work. Yeah. And, and there's, there's people talking that officers may not be going back to work, they're going to stay remotely because they've shown they can. And having that awareness that massively being self-aware of what you're doing uh, it takes some discipline to start working from home but also discipline to not then get into a conversation and start chatting and um, someone else may be watching tv when you're supposed to be working and just move forward with that or you've got a workout to do and someone's watching tv and you end up skipping your workout because you're trying to catch up on eastenders from 20 years ago or something on the replays they're, they're putting on now yeah, I think, and that's why I think people are now going to have to become more adaptable within their routine. When when we were in lockdown and, and I was literally at home, because then we weren't seeing clients and that I was trying to, I, I changed my routine a bit in that I had three main goals. One was to do something for myself, one was to do something professionally, and then one thing was to touch base with the family because we were all at home. And I've noticed now that we've got, you know, the centers open, 
numbers are picking up. I can feel some sense of the old routine coming back, but it's still not, still not the same. But there's also some elements of lockdown routine that I kind of want to hold back on. So I'm going through mentally a little bit of a process of trying to rejigger and jig and, and refigure out what, a re, what routine really will work for me. Oh, yeah. Like that kind of the, the journaling and, and having some, some time. So I think we are, in a, we are in a great position at the moment to look forward to some level of past routines coming back. But I think we also have had that, that beautiful um, space and clean sheet. And then now we can, we can come back and, and configure it how we want it. Whereas before, that's always something you know, I've, got, I've got to find time to think about it we, we've actually been given that time so it'll be very interesting i've seen a lot with with patients some people are have really appreciated um the time out i had one guy the other day he's a cameraman and and he's all over in different routines and, and gets called here and there and he's like well i didn't have any change of routine because i don't normally have a routine i i, I go by whatever whenever work comes up and other times i'm just I'm, so he's used to that that they're having no set structure and where other people have, are still really now reset to, to being in lockdown and now they can come out of lockdown, but they almost feel safer and they stuck in fear of staying in this, in this safe bubble. And, and they find them to come out and establish a new routine of work and do things in a different way, extremely um, scary because they stuck in a fear pattern. So if we can drop the fear and see the advantage I think that'll help a huge amount of people. Oh yeah, definitely. And I think looking back on lockdown, like I've, I've been, as we said about the gym, it's been the biggest part of my release. And there are still things that we can be grateful of and the little things that we've picked up again, like as I've mentioned already, like making music, writing rap and making hip hop music and all these things that I didn't do for ages and I wouldn't have done unless lockdown happened because I needed to get that release and I realized how much I love it. So that's going to fit into my routine, but also the fact that, and some of my clients have noticed this as well, that I won't go to the gym every day. I used to go every day, do some, not a hard workout every day, might be going to do strips and that sort of release. And that is something I can do at home. And some of my clients, and they've, they've got their workouts and they live 30 minutes from the gym. And they're saying that they may only go to the gym once a week to do some bigger lifts. And they've got this new routine set up and it's fitting the things back in that we haven't done. Now it can also, it can work in a negative way as well that people have got into the routine of having more alcohol. Maybe they're having more junk food. The, the weekends yeah. are blurring into the weekdays and they've put on some weight and we think, well, I mean, I'll, I'll put on a few pounds and, uh, and that's purely because, as I've said, I've realized my release is not the exercise, my release is going to the gym to exercise. And it'll soon go, but the, um, negative side of things is that these new patterns that have brought into us why they've been happening they become habits we have to break again you may not have had those before as we said the alcohol the junk food the saturday night when it's actually on a wednesday uh, they're just completely like days are blurring into that brings us to the end of part one of this podcast join us in part two as we continue